All right, guys, what's going on? Got my saw warming up in the background. At the new tree job. Uh, gentleman I know recently bought this property and remodeling, and he wants some of the trees gone. Like that poplar, it's leaning way bad towards the house, which we ain't gonna cut it today because the wind is extremely rough. This one's going. Everything with the pink ribbon, this big boy's going. Uh, this one's going. This little one's going, which I thought that one was going, and that was going to open me up a gap to shoot all these uh, things, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Uh, this one's going, and there's some back along that building there. He bought this, and they're going to clean all this up. This tree, the good thing is they all lean in a good direction to fall them, honestly. Uh, of course, it's just, you know, it is what it is what it is. When you're falling around the house, you always want to be cautious because Lord knows anything can happen. And uh, I've got insurance, but I really don't want to use it if I don't have to. See what I'm saying? Like, you know, this one can come out here and it'll be no problem at all. Uh, that little end's gonna have to be took down from the top. Them two's gonna have to be took down from the top. <clears throat> but it is what it is, so. Uh, we'll just see what we can do here with them. But I'm gonna start, I thought that one was going cause it's dead in the bottom. See, it'll be dead before long. It's gonna be, it's already rotten and at the bottom. But I was gonna take all these trees right here down, down this way. And I'm gonna wait till he gets here and see if I can't, can't do that. But I'm probably gonna start on this little double right here honestly and see where we're at and i wasn't going to throw a line in these two trees the beach and the uh i don't know if that's a I guess it's a white oak but i was going to throw wasn't going to throw a line in them uh but i believe i'll try to just just to be sure that i can get it to go where i want it to go i was going to wedge it and i'm probably going to cut it up high because i don't know if this thing's rotten or what, you know, so. Uh, as you look at this tree this way, and it looks like it leans back. But you look at the tree this way, and it does have a little lean back, but it ain't terrible. Sometimes uh, these big hardwood trees are hard to judge the lean of them just due to the fact that you know it is what it is and this big one i was going to send down through here like in the edge of the road and the edge of the just straight down the, the yard here if i could and hope that it didn't go out in the road i don't think any limbs would hit the house Keep it straight, you know, down this way. And I think everything will clear well enough. So we'll see, but that ain't gonna be a tree that gets cut today. We're gonna work on some that I know is good cause it's windy and real windy, 15, 20 mile an hour winds. And I ain't taking no chances. But I'm gonna send this little joker out towards the fence there. It's got a pretty predominant lean. And like I say, I'm running a 28 inch bar just due to the fact that uh, I'm running a 28 inch bar. I'm gonna cut it. I may cut that bark down a little bit to where I can cut this tree lower. I don't know, we'll see. All right, oh, uh, well, I'll get started. Well, I'll bring y'all back when I get started, see ya.
run the Aaron A. Lynch 572 XP with a 28 inch bar. Uh, just cause that 24 throws me off. Uh, tw with these West Coast dogs, chew doggy, get back. These West Coast dogs, uh, they take up a little bit of your bar. When you're running a two footer, it's more like running a, a 22 inch or a 20 inch bar. And I just, I don't, I can't get into that. But, well, uh, so anyhow. Trying to send it right past this downstairs here. <laughs> short enough it's not going to hit nothing i caught a limb in this other tree but this one is a small tree i mean it's little so i'm gonna face it up because it's got a little limb weight over here face it up like this and uh hopefully it shoots right down through here without it shouldn't catch this limb because it's shorter than it right now uh and when it goes to fall it definitely will be shorter, so it should be all right. I'm imagining, I'm hoping. But that, you just, it's what happens when you fall in tight spots. You just, I gotta be real slow and, well, I ain't gotta be slow, but I like being real slow and careful because you just don't ever know what's gonna, what's gonna take place.
ideal to stay on the stump for sure uh, but sometimes when I'm cutting like this I stay on the stump just due to the fact that uh, you know yeah uh, you know just to stay on the stump because anything can happen you don't ever know and uh, it just is what it is that way you can kind of steer the tree because you can steer it I did that one it was headed more towards the dumpster and I you know this last one i cut it was aiming more towards this dumpster and as it started to fall i seen that and i kind of cut as i went there but you know uh i don't have to clean none of this up they're giving me the logs if i want to want to take them uh but i am going to cut it up in in chunks that uh when they get their equipment out here or whatever they can grab a hold of it <laughs>
tree down. I'm going to cut this stump down. I'm just going to go nice and slow today and take it easy and not get too wound up. And uh, that's the way I do it most days. Because you know, when you get in a hurry, when I lost that tree, I was in a hurry. I was wound up. My head wasn't right. And what I think I've done is I left a little bit of a Dutchman in there and I didn't see it. I'll bring y'all back on the next creek.